Today in FS25, we'll be growing peas. Here we have everything we need. We'll be going over all the steps, showing you every stage of growth from March through July. So let's get going. Peas are a pretty easy crop to grow. They can be used in productions. They sell decently. The only thing is they require this expensive machine here to harvest. We'll go over that in a minute. So they're really easy. Here I'm gonna show you every step from fertilization to planting to harvesting. First, let's have a look at the crop calendar. Here you can see peas. In this video, we'll be planting them in March and we'll be harvesting them in July. To find the harvester that you'll need to harvest them, you're gonna to wanna to go down here to the vegetable section right here. And the pea harvester is here. And as the game is still new, there's no mods out or anything for this. There's only the one pea harvester to use and it's pretty pricey. But uh, if you wanna do peas, that's the harvester you're gonna to have to use. That's where you purchase that. The other machinery we're using here is all, can all be as generic as you want it to be. Here we have just fertilizer. Here we have a tipper to transport the peas in. And here we have just a regular old cedar. You can plant peas with any old cedar. That's one thing that's really great about them. They don't require any special machinery to plant or take care of aside from this pretty pricey harvester. But honestly, it's not as pricey as some really. And it's, pretty, it's a pretty simple machine. Anyway, let's head back to March and get started with our peas. All right, so we'll be starting off in March, planting our peas in this field here. And you can see right here, we have uh, down in the right-hand corner, you can see we have zero fertilization, zero everything. It's been freshly limed, so we have a fresh field here in March. We're gonna lay down some fertilizer because our uh, cedar does not fertilize. So we're gonna be doing every step for you here. So we're just gonna plant the peas kind of in the, the center part of the field. So we're gonna get this fertilized. Now you can see our field is light blue because it has one stage of fertilization on it. Our cedar here does not fertilize while it plants, it just plants the peas. So that being the case, we wanna make sure we put down fertilizer first. We're gonna plant the peas over this. Next month, we'll add more fertilizer. But for now, we have the cedar and make sure that it's set on peas. And we're gonna plant our peas. You can plant them, yeah, with any, uh, any regular cedar, just like so. All right, and that is our peas planted. We are gonna check back here next month in April and see how they look and give them some fertilization. All right, here's our peas in April. After the first stage of growth, they're looking good. You can see they are 50% fertilized from last month. Now that they've grown one stage, we're gonna hop in our cupota here and we're gonna lay down another stage of fertilization. This will make them fully fertilized and they'll be able to grow the rest of the way on their own, but we'll be checking on them next month anyway, so we can see all the growth stages of our peas. Here we can see our peas in May. They look like little Christmas trees sprouting up in the field. And let's have a look at the map. You can see we have two stages of fertilization where I, I just planted the peas here in the middle. So you can see the dark blue there where we have two stages of fertilization and you can see here it's a little darker green because we're on our second stage of growth. All right, let's check on these in June. So here are our peas in June. This is their last growth stage. They'll be ready to harvest next month. We have a great yield bonus and everything here. That's not pertinent for the video, but uh, they're doing excellent. So let's come back in July and we'll go over the harvesting process. All right, and here's our peas in July. And yep, they are ready to harvest. So this is what they're gonna look like. We got our stuff here. We got our pea harvester. We got a tractor ready with a tipper. Let's get harvesting. Pea harvester is super easy to work. Just gonna lower the header. Look it on. We only have a small amount of peas here to harvest. So we should be able to harvest all of these and then we'll offload them into the tipper. And here we have the last of our peas. And I'd say that's a pretty decent yield from just this little bit of the field here that we planted. Well, now we'll get these offloaded into our tipper. All right, now we've got our pea harvest. Now you can't store peas in your regular silo. So we're gonna run these down to the sell point. They have a pretty decent sell price without much fluctuation year round. So it's fine to sell them now. 
So we're going to run these down to the canning, uh, the canning plant. I'm just taking them down here to sell because we don't have any use for them at our farm as I was just growing them for the purposes of this video. All right, here we are at the canning factory and bump these off. They don't have a whole lot, but then again, it was a pretty small patch of field. It was only what, uh, two trips with our cedar, which is modest to size, but just that little bit sold for $5,000. So that's not bad at all. Let's get back to the farm. So that's it for peas. From March through July, they're a really easy vegetable to grow. They're good for a few things. They give a decent yield. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe for more if you uh, like the content you see here and uh, be sure to let me know. And uh, I'll try to make some more useful guides, good gameplay, and uh, anything else that might be relevant to FS25. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you next time.